Hi, welcome back to another video. A lot of people ask about overlays for iRacing, something you can do to change the way your relative looks, get a little bit more information, customize a little bit. And uh, I've always wondered that as well, what the best one is. I don't really want to pay a lot of money for it. And I want it to look a little better. And if you've watched any of my iRacing streams recently, you will have seen that I've got an overlay now replacing the relative on iRacing. It's one I've come across. It's made by Race Lab. It's free. You can of course donate and if you subscribe to it, it unlocks a few more features, which I will be doing um, as we move forward. But it's a great introduction to get better overlay and it's free and we always like free. So not a very long video this week, just a quick run through where you can find it, how to download it and how to run it. So let's go. Really quickly, I just want to talk about a subscriber giveaway that I've got planned when we reach 100 subscribers. I know you're already busy, so I'm going to try and keep this short and do it in 30 seconds. Start the clock. I've got an amazing giveaway for all you iRacers that are subscribed to the channel. Majors Garage, who supply setups for all the iRacing series and have supported the channel right from the start with a link in the description, have kindly donated an entire month of their all series iRacing pass for one of you lucky 100 subs. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to the YouTube channel, come and say hi in the Discord channel. That's it, you're in. Once I reach 100 plus subs, I'll draw the name and announce it on one of my live streams, and I'll reach out to others one in case you're not on that stream. Thanks for your support. I hope I've done that in 30 seconds. Back to the video. Pretty easy. You need to go to racelab.app. I'll put a link in the description below, and it's just a case of clicking on download Racelab. So once you've done that download, that runs an executable file, and it installs the Racelab app. This is the dashboard you'll be met with. You can see my terrible recent run on iRacing just about here, which we will gloss over and move swiftly on to overlays. Before we get too excited with overlays though, there's a couple of settings that we need to make sure are right within iRacing. So let's just quickly make sure we've got those set. Now there's only a few settings you need to make sure are set as far as I'm aware, and they're very easy to do. All I've done here is just jumped into test drive, um, but you could go into any practice session or anything just to check these settings are right before we get into having a look at the overlays. So what we've got to do is go to options and go to graphics. Now what we need to do here is make sure that full screen and bordered are both not ticked. It used to be the case that you'd end up with a bit of a horrible window on especially on triple screens when you did this. By racing have made some changes now and all you've got to do is make sure those are unticked and we're effectively running in windowed mode but without it really looking like that and that just means the overlay can sit on top. So as long as both of those are unticked, we're good to go. So here we go then. We're now in a practice session, just so we can see a little bit on the relative. And we're back on the Race Lab app and I've got iRacing running in the background. This is where we can start to play about with our overlay. The main reason I wanted this was so that I could see drivers class and eye rating whilst I was driving. You don't need it. But it's quite nice to see it and I could also see in a race whether or not I was going to be gaining or losing eye rating. It can be a bit depressing but also it's just quite interesting to see where people sit around you and I wanted to have that relative distance listed as well because that's something I use all the time and I didn't want to lose that function by having this. It's also quite handy to have a countdown of how long's left or how many laps you've got. So that's why I wanted it. You can see in front of us here there's options to change the, the font, the font size, which are locked until you upgrade. Same with the uh, opacity, but you can start playing about with the width, the scale, and I'm going to turn hide and garage to off now so that my relative appears. And here it is. So I can't move it around till I unlock this and then I can move this to wherever I want. So something about there usually looks okay. But what we can do, so example is, if I wanted to make this much bigger, I could start stretching this out. In fact, let's just move it up here so we can see it. I could make this much bigger for the width there. I could also scale it up so that it's getting huge now. You know, I could, could run that on an alternate screen if I wanted. And there's lots of other options here around how it looks, you know, line separator, um, some different colors so you can tell the difference and we can start to go all sorts of things so at the top i've got the strength of field listed we're in as rookie masters but you can have all sorts abs air temp car name drs last lap time rpm water temp tons of stuff up there and you can have more put up there if you go for the uh, the pro subscription i've chosen to have first name last name but you can have full name you can have you know just the first initial and the last name there's a huge amount of stuff you can you can do with this. I'm not going to go through everything, but you can see there's loads listed on there. You can turn on and off as you feel is appropriate. So I'm going to 
reduce this a bit turn the scale back down a bit that seems a little bit more appropriate put that back down there that gives you an idea of how it look i'm going to click lock and i'm also going to turn it on to hide it in the garage i don't need to see it when i'm going through setups or i'm just watching replays so i can put that to hide once i've got that running and i'm happy all i have to do now in iRacing whenever i want to use this overlay just open race lab so it's running i can minimize it or leave it running in the background and then open my iRacing session as soon as i go out on track it will appear down there easy as that so like i said just a real quick tip of how you can get a decent overlay looks good it's free works really well i've been using it for a few weeks now and i'm really happy with it and i'm going to be going for that that pro unlock race lab does tons of other stuff as well as just that kind of relative style overlay there's loads of things on there that I haven't run through but i recommend just follow the link take a look and uh, and i think you'll be pleased i should point out i haven't been asked to do this in any way whatsoever it's just that i've been using it and i think it's really good so i wanted to share that information but other than that i shall say thanks very much for watching